hello all you beautiful virgos and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you may be on this planet we reside in today's video is going to be your december 2018 reading and whatever messages spirit would like me to relate to you guys keep in mind messages are general so they may or may not resonate if they don't kick them to the curb because they're not for you hun and if they do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It would be much appreciated. All right. Let's get right into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos in the month of December 2018? What messages do you have for my lovely Virgos? What messages do you have for my Virgos December 2018? Do you have from the Virgos 2015? Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take these. We got the five of wands here. So a lot of disharmony right now. You know, a lot of drain and probably physical exhaustion, which is probably why you're feeling trapped with this eight of swords energy right here. Um, something is going on in your life right now that's making you feel trapped and it's causing a lot of disharmony. Maybe um, you're going through a family squabble right now. Um, maybe it's spouse to f spouse fighting, um, you know, if your kids are older, maybe, you know, it's disagreements with your kids right now. Um, I'm really getting some disharmony in the family right now, which that's it. I mean, that's kind of sad, you know, with the holidays coming up and everything, but I'm sure you guys are going to figure it out. But something here is making you feel really trapped right now because of this disharmony. With the temperance card here, you need to find balance, you know, um, kind of a give and take here, you know, compromise situation that needs to happen. And I feel like you will um, figure out how to get this balance when you really take some time to rest and heal and ask for help with the star card, you know make a wish ask your guides for help you know they are always let's just drop that shall we your guides are always there to help you all you need to do is ask so you know just ask them you know hey what can i do in this situation to help make it better so that you know these ho this holiday season can be more balanced and we can get rid of this disharmony going on in the family because I really feel like you guys are at a crossroads right now. Like you're really not sure what to do to make the situation better with this Eight of Swords. And the answer is just, you know, meditate. Ask, ask for help from your guides. And they will give you an answer on how to compromise with the Temperance card here. Let's get some clarifiers. Spirit, why is this Five of Wands here? Why is this Five of Wands here? The Sun card, yes. Yeah, so definitely I'm getting family life here. Um, a lot of disharmony in the family right now. Uh... Yeah, um, there, 
they're saying that, you know, this kind of, this started over, I don't want to, I don't want to say petty because that kind of makes me sound heartless and rude, but it's, it's, this disharmony started because of something that is kind of really in, insignificant, insignificant compared to the bigger picture, which is family and halt in the holidays coming up and, you know, it's all about family and love and, you know, happiness, you know, everything that the sun card is and there's disharmony with that, but it's like over something like really small. Spirit, why is this temperance card here? Why is this temperance card here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. With the King of Cups, emotions are really running high. They're really taking the lead. You know, it's not a lot of, you know, logical thinking right now. You know, it's more of like... Um, emotions are taking over and on each person's side they think they're in the right because their emotions are like really chaotic and it's kind of scattered and it's it's really hard to find balance but you guys need to find an emotional balance so you can compromise and bring union back to the family to get rid of this disharmony. Why is the Eight of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Please clarify this Eight of, this eight of That is hap- Oh my gosh, this is crazy! This has happened to me like four different times on different zodiac signs where the same card has clarified the same card. This is incredible and crazy and weird, but it just like, you know, it tells me that, you know, what I said before is just kind of how it is. You know, you guys are feeling really trapped. You don't know what to do in the situation. You don't know how you can bring this bring harmony and balance back into the situation. Um, you don't know how to bring forth a compromise to where pretty much, you know, everybody wins, but there is going to be some sacrifice on everybody's part because temperance is all about balance. So, I mean, you can't take without giving and vice versa. So with a compromise, you know, you can't win without sacrificing a little bit, you know? Why is the Four of Swords here, Spirit? Please clarify this Four of Swords. Two of Cups. Usually this is like Soulmate or, you know, Twin Flame card. But it can also mean family. So I'm really, yeah, I'm maybe, maybe it's an argument with your spouse. And just your spouse. But, I mean, that's still family. So... Both of you definitely need to take a rest period and to clear your heads, you know, don't let the emotions with the King of Cups here overrule you right now and really get into a more balanced state between the logical and emotional. Um, so the, with this Two of Cups here, this may just be an argument with your spouse, but I mean, that would still makes sense with everything else because you know your spouse would be your family and it would affect like if you guys have kids or not um if you two are in an argument of course that is going to affect your your kids as well so why is the star card here spirit please clarify the star card justice yeah okay so there will be a compromise found here you know you're gonna ask your guides for help you're gonna like really get into a clearer mindset to where your emotions aren't running so high and justice is going to be served everything is going to work out you guys are going to find a compromise and it's going to be in time for the holidays so that is really good to see 
that you guys are, you know, going to get things figured out, whether it's an entire family situation or if it's just, you know, something going on with your spouse. You know, it is going to resolve itself and you guys are going to come to a compromise. So I'm going to ask Spirit what advice he has for you. For the month of December 2018, this could or couldn't, or may or may not have anything to do with this particular reading. It's just what Spirit would like you to know at this given time. So we're going to shuffle a couple times and then we're going to pick a card. Alright, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos for December 2018? What messages do you have for my Virgo? Advice? What advice do you have for my Virgo? December 2018. Alright. Awakening. Okay, so what I'm what I instantly picked up from that is, you know. When you compromise from this this situation or difficulty that you are dealing with, when you guys come to a compromise and you really step back and, you know, reevaluate what happened, you're kind of just going to chuckle at it. Like after it um after you come to a solution, you guys are just going to kind of chuckle at it and be like, "Holy crap, we actually did that." Really? Um, and it's really going to awaken you to the, the bigger picture, the more important things in life. And, uh, yeah, it's just really going to put you in a more higher vibration because it's just going to be like, Psh, holy shit, why did, why did we even do this type thing? But yeah, so that is your December 2018 reading for you Virgos. If you resonated with this, please let me know down in the comments. Leave this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Mwah! Much love to all you guys.